時計は来たおもり高ぶった逆賊から日の本を守らねばならん The Hit Samurai Epic Shogun had the biggest premiere ever for an FX show on Hulu To show your true heart is to risk your life Now it's leading the Emmy charge with 25 nominations including outstanding drama I'm so happy for the great reactions, much more than expected. With Shogun, like, people did have really high expectations, and still they were so in awe when they saw our show. Hiroyuki Sonata and Anna Sawai are both first-time Emmy nominees. As lead actor and lead actress, two of the five acting nominations for the series, to go along with nods for cinematography, costumes, stunts, visual effects, and more. Joining Shogun in the outstanding drama category are The Crown, which has 18 total nominations for its final season, including lead actor Dominic West and lead actress Imelda Staunton. But what about the life I put aside when I became queen? Fallout, with 16 nominations, including one for lead very, actor very Walton Goggins. Kendra. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, with 16 nods, including lead actress Maya Erskine, who has three previous Emmy nominations for Hulu's Pen15. And lead actor Donald Glover, who won the lead actor in a comedy Emmy in 2017 for Atlanta. I don't know what's happening right now. It feels like a dream. Slow Horses has nine nominations, including Outstanding Drama and lead actor Gary Oldman. Three Body Problem has six, as does The Gilded Age, including lead actress Carrie Coon. And The Morning Show with 16 nominations, including 10 acting nods, the most for any drama this year. Let all the secrets come out. They did not protect me. They didn't protect you, but I did. Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon are both nominated in the lead actress category, and past Emmy winner John Hamm is nominated for supporting actor. He's actually a double nominee this year, also nominated for lead actor in a limited series for his work in Fargo. Go and live, or stay and die. Fargo has 15 Emmy nominations, including lead actress Juno Temple and another one of the night's top awards, Outstanding Limited or Anthology Series. I think the secret sauce of the show is that, that each season is different, and to play a crazy character like Roy Tillman was, was fun. The other limited series contenders are Baby Reindeer, Lessons in Chemistry, Ripley, and True Detective Night Country. Want more entertainment news? Follow On the Red Carpet on social and subscribe on YouTube.